Welcome, Gemini, to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon. Intuition bringing you messages from spirit. This reading is general, and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you'd like to know more about your connection, you can book a personal reading with me at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. If you're interested in my latest intention sprays, Attraction for Manifesting Wealth and Prosperity and Twin Flames Union for Achieving Union with Self before Union with Your Divine Partner, you can pre-order yours today and receive a special discount um, at checkout by using the coupon code SPRAY. And guys, also, if you're interested in my lovely uh, bath bombs and uh, bath salts, uh, I'm running a special. It's 10% uh, off on any bath product, um, and you can use the coupon code 1010, okay? The number 1010. Mm, so, this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers, if you're the one watching this, it may refer to you. So, let's begin. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels, and highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, guys. <clears throat> I didn't realize that uh, my throat was kind of locked up. <laughs> so, Gemini, let's see. What is the energy? of the person that you're connecting with at this time. And dear Spirit, please reveal to me what is the current energy of my Geminis. What is the person of the energy that they're currently dealing with? Who is the person connecting with the sign of Gemini? What is their energy? And what is your energy? Let's see. Well, so your person, I feel like uh, they're trying to get out of this denial. Okay, uh, detach with love to clearly see the truth. I feel that your person has a hard time of denying uh, the fact that they do miss you. Okay, that's the feeling that I'm getting. I feel like if you guys are in separation, uh, they can't really see clearly about their truth. Why? Uh, maybe it's because of a new love. A new love or recommitment to love is developing. I feel like uh, your person doesn't want to uh, let go of the connection with you. And they want to have a new start is what I'm getting. Okay. Now with you, we have mastery. You have learned the spiritual lesson. So I really feel like you have gone through some sort of ascension or awakening and you have mastered yourself and where you're at in your current circumstance. And towards your person, we have fate, but it's in reverse. This is a destined partnership. However, you feel like it's not. So there's mixed energies here. Okay, your person is... Um, they're not denying, okay, that they have this attraction towards you or affection. They definitely want to have a new love. But I feel like because of this person reacted in the past, you have really uh, worked on yourself and you're not sure if you want to go back to this past lover. That's the feeling that I'm getting. So let's see what else. Spirit, please reveal to me what is the current energy of the person that's connecting with the sign of Gemini. And Gemini, what is your energy towards your person? What is the current energy, please, Spirit, of the person connecting with Gemini? And what is your energy? Let's see. 
well, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So your person really wants to come back and work on the situation. And I feel that they want to come in and flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Also with you, we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And finally, we have release your ex. <laughs> the time has come to clear your energy. So this is what I'm feeling, okay? For some of you, okay, you actually have a karmic partner, but this could be the person that is connecting with you. Uh, that's what I'm seeing. And um, I really feel that, um, you know, your person is um, tied in with someone, or maybe this was a past energy, and now this person wants to release this past energy and give this relationship a chance. For some, okay, they're not denying that they have a, a connection with you, but for some of you Geminis, you actually have someone, and you have mastered the art of, you know, um, I guess manifestation, because I really feel that there's a reconciliation that is on the horizon for you from this person. So I definitely feel like there's a past person that is coming forward towards you. It could be a new person, because I definitely see her new love. Um, because I see here it's both a new love or re recommitment to a love that is developing. So that's what I'm seeing. So let's see what else. Sperry, please reveal to me what is the underlying energy of the person that you're connecting with. And what is your underlying energy? What is currently going on with the unconscious and subconscious between you and your person? What is uh, going on beneath the surface? Let's see. We have perseverance, but it's reversed. This person is not balanced. And maybe they didn't have the patience to really work on their feelings. But now your person wants to uh, give this relationship another chance. Okay? You know, they could have been in denial about this connection. But now your person wants to come in and flirt. And I really feel that um, they haven't healed from uh, the situation. And they want to renew this connection with you. They could come in flirty. Okay, so just be mindful. So for some, they may have worked on themselves, but for, for the others, okay, I really feel like uh, they need to work on it. Okay, so your person may, may come back, but they're not fully healed because I feel like they're still hurt uh, based off of a situation. And I really feel like it's in regards to like an ex-person. Okay, at least that's how you're feeling. You know, you feel like this isn't a fated connection because um, someone here failed to release a past situation or a person. Okay. Now, with you, we have effort, but it's in reverse. I see that you're no longer putting in an effort for reconciliation. You know, this is what it feels like. I feel that, Gemini, you have uh, learned to uh, love yourself first, respect yourself, set up your healthy boundaries, and reconciliation or not, okay? Um, I really feel like you're not going to invest into the situation because it doesn't make you feel stable. And you've learned your spiritual lesson of the past dealing with this person. And also we have creativity, okay? So you're feeling creative. You know, you're willing to work if this person is willing to come back is what I'm feeling. But, you know, they need to release as someone or something of the past. That's what I'm getting. And... You're, you know, you feel like, you know, is this a destined connection? You're not sure. I really feel like you're, you're kind of like happy-go-lucky about it, right? So you're neither here nor there. You're kind of in between worlds is what I'm feeling. And you're feeling really creative. So, you know, regardless of what happens with this particular person, you're like, meh. You know, it is what it is, right? You know, and you're just happy as is, whether or not this person comes back or not. You know, whether or not uh, they want to really, truly reconcile. You're not going to put in the effort if this person comes in Florida, especially if they haven't healed. 
that's what I'm seeing. So uh, I really feel like you're dealing with someone who is immature or has not really did the healing work. Okay, and I really feel that possibly you have. And you're wondering, you know, is the past really behind you and this person? And that's what I'm getting. So let's see what else. Spirit, please reveal to me what is the current energy of the person connecting with Gemini. How do you currently think? How do you feel? What do you want? What are the challenges and what is the outcome? And if karmic energy wants to come through, please reveal karmic energy. Spirit, please reveal to me the energies of this person who is tied in with my lovely Gemini. Thank you. So I really feel like your person uh, is not ready to apologize, okay? Again, they're just coming in immature and they know they need to work on the situation. I also see that they want to come in quickly and they might come in, you know, in and out of your life and they really haven't walked away from this connection, but they definitely want to have um, a reconciliation, okay? They want to come together with you, possibly celebrate. This could be within four days or four weeks for some, and I really feel like it's a get together, okay? Uh, so I really feel also this could be around a holiday or just like a family celebration. It's something where you can actually gather with you and your person, uh, like an outing, right? Uh, maybe you got invited to a, a wedding or a party, and both you and your person were there, okay? And that's for very few of you, but I'm definitely seeing this. And um, that's how you actually meet this person again. I feel like you haven't seen this person for some time because you had a falling out. Wow. <laughs> Hold on. And I really see that this person is feeling impatient or they didn't have enough patience. And I definitely see that uh, beneath the surface, uh, they really couldn't persevere, okay, because they were feeling unstable and unbalanced. But I really feel that they definitely do want to give this relationship a chance. But right now, um, they're not taking any offers, okay? They feel rejected and they're, they're wanting to heal. So I definitely feel like your person wants to work on a situation, you know, and heal. Okay, right now they know that they haven't healed enough, but they definitely want to come back and reestablish a, a, a commitment with you. So they have really made a decision, okay? They're coming back. You know, they know that this isn't over. And um, I really feel that um, your person believes that this is a destined connection, that you guys are meant to be right. However, you're feeling like, no, this is not a faded connection. This is not how things are supposed to be. You know, someone here is supposed to release a past person, okay? And I really feel that since you've really worked on yourself, Gemini, uh, you're no longer putting in the effort for reconciliation especially with this particular person uh, because you're feeling creative so you know as soon as you interact with this particular person your creativity is being stifled and you don't want to bring those uh, past memories back is what I'm feeling Okay, uh, I'm also saying that your person is trying to get out of their head and uh, about not being able to give you an offer. And I also see that they're not very clear on how they can communicate with you so that they can feel good, okay, about reapproaching you. I definitely see that uh, they want to come forward and um, they feel like they can't, okay? Things are not balanced and um, they definitely know that they have to heal at some point because of what was said and done in the past. And uh, for some, they could be spying on you on social media. I'm also saying that they possibly can't really offer you much in the physical. For some, you're actually at a distance with this person is another thing I'm feeling, but they definitely wanna have a new beginning. And they could be uh, thinking of how they can come back. Um, you know, they have like a, a lot of things to consider is what I'm saying, so they could choose you. This person definitely feels that you guys are a faded soulmate twin flame connection. However, um, I really feel that you're very sovereign, okay? You're to yourself. 
whatever this X energy is, this could be on your side, this could be on their side, but whatever this past energy is, um, it's blocking your creativity, okay? So you feel like this is not a faded uh, situation, and let's see, uh, Gemini, okay? Because your person definitely wants to come back. Um, they, they feel different about you, but I feel, Gemini, that you're not actually feeling the same. That's what I'm getting. Wow. This person definitely feels like it's over, possibly because you might have pushed them away and they want to manifest a coming back where they could actually tell you the truth and maybe connect with their higher self. And this person is definitely feeling like a high level soulmate a connection. Okay. And they just feel that... Uh, there's some manipulation here. It could be uh, from a third-party energy, okay? They feel like uh, there's someone else in your life that is altering the way you're thinking, okay? But you're actually thinking that this person needs to let go of the past. Whatever that, that means for the both of you, okay? And I also see that there is like some sort of a toxic addiction, okay? Maybe a codependency or some sort of obsession, okay, about a third party. So there is definitely a third party situationship involved. Somebody is holding a grudge. Someone is having resentment is what I'm getting about the truth. So I really feel like your person wants to come in and tell you the truth that, you know, maybe uh, they weren't, you know, completely honest. And they try to win here at all costs. And I feel also that they want to invest into you Okay, maybe they said things uh, to prove to you that, you know, they could, uh, you know, be a solid partner. And I definitely see that, you know, they know that you make them happy. They're possibly seeing something now, though, that maybe they were uh, controlling, very manipulative. Maybe they didn't express how they felt towards you. Okay, and um, they possibly told you that they didn't want to let you go, or maybe they're releasing a situation. Maybe it's this past situationship of an ex, or maybe a past condition, or whatever the case is. Okay, uh, they're healing. Okay, they're healing. They're reflecting on the past about how you guys used to uh, connect with one, one uh, each other, towards each other. Sorry, and you know, if there was a third party situation, they're no longer looking at that. Okay, and this person feels stuck. They feel stuck about approaching you and offering the, their feelings. And I really feel like uh, they want to come in and invest. So for your person, okay, Gemini, they want to come in and work it out. However, I just see that your energy is somewhat different. I feel like you changed your mind about this person, but let's see. So what I'm seeing here is that they want another chance, but they're not really approaching you right now. And I see that they are blocking uh, their intuition or their feelings, and they're super guarded. I really feel like it's because they don't know how you feel towards them. And, you know, what I'm seeing is that, you know, you can reconcile, uh, but you're not going to work on this. And, you know, what I'm also feeling is that it's up to your person to release a past uh, situation or an actual person so that um, they can come forward towards you. And you're thinking that if they do come back, they have to be creative about it, okay? Because at this point, you feel like they already burnt that bridge and they're going to have to show up, right? At least that's what I'm seeing. Also, I see that... <sighs> They want to communicate to you about how they've always loved you or held space in their heart for you. And right now, they, they're, they're held back. So they're repressing their emotions, okay, and they're depressed. For some, your person drinks, okay, um, and they're not very clear about how they can express or come back towards you. Um, there's a lot of emotions that, that's being hidden, and this person um, feels that they can't express how they feel towards you. 
right now, uh, you could be dealing uh, with a hermit, okay, uh, a Virgo. But what I'm seeing here is that um, they're reflecting on this third party. There must have been a situation between you and your person dealing with a third party, and it tore this connection up. Because of a third party situation, it could have been an argument, it could have been a finding out, uh, maybe somebody saw you with another person or vice versa, take it as it resonates, but there was somebody else involved, okay, and it really broke the heart of your person, and um, now they're reflecting on how it hurt them, but also how it hurts you because there was a reason that you're no longer speaking to this individual it has to do with an ex okay you feel like this isn't a faded connection you feel like you can actually move on like you've learned your lesson from this and you're good okay so if this person truly wants to have a new love or a recommitment to love you know they're gonna have to come in and show up right so right now, your person, um, they're being held back. They're not sure if you'll take them back. That's why they're holding back, okay? Finally, I see that they know that they didn't offer you uh, the justice that you deserved, and they got their karma, okay? So they their karma was um, kind of redirected at them. And uh, I feel like they've actually gone through a situation where they had to face their fears. Whatever this fear was, I feel like it was maybe a fear of losing you or losing the situation. This person uh, was not patient, okay, um, to really give this relationship a chance. And I feel like it's uh, maybe this person was in denial about a situation. Okay, about a truth. There is a truth that they were denying. Okay, or maybe they're accepting. Okay, so maybe they accepted that, you know, they wanted to give this relationship a chance, but they just weren't patient enough. And there was something dealing with a third party that split you two apart. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, it's over, you know, but what I'm seeing here is that they've gone through like a dark night of the soul and because of that they have changed and transformed and they feel like they can't really come forward towards you, okay? For some, this person was in a commitment or they feel like they can't offer you what you're looking for um, because they got cut off or you cut them off or they cut you off, okay? however this resonates with you somebody got cut off somebody had really choice words to say okay and this person can't get a word in you know that's why i feel like you're in this energy where you know you don't know if this is a destined connection you know you're trying to uh put the past behind you is what i'm saying because you want fresh you know high vibe energy right and that's what you want to work on. Wow. I also see that uh, this person is single. Okay. They want to work on themselves. And they're really trying to balance out their life. Okay. And for some, if they were in a commitment of some sort, they're getting out of that commitment. And I feel like they're holding back from communicating to you that they're actually going through this. And I also see that... Um, you know, they're actually uh, wanting to get out the separation and come forward towards you. So I definitely feel like, uh, Gemini, you have someone that wants return. And it's up to you if you want to take them back or not. Okay? Yes. This person uh, possibly lives at a distance. And I think I said that before. I see here the travel card. Okay? This is the world. So your person, it's possibly been like a year or so is what I'm seeing. Um, and this person wants to end the cycle so they can have a new beginning with you they've done a lot of reflection okay and i also see that you know they had a lot of fear of approaching you you could be dealing with a cancer could be a scorpio uh could be taurus could be an earth sign okay all the signs are here now this person wants to come back and give you um you know an exchange of energy okay yeah, nothing is really growing right now. Things are kind of stagnating. And um, maybe this person uh, really couldn't offer you much. They're holding back. Okay. So there's 
there's an energy here where things aren't growing okay that's the feeling I'm getting this person has been in time out they've reflected they've been sovereign they've been alone they've been working on their finances their career trying to balance out their life their healing I really feel like they haven't completely healed though okay I definitely do see that and I feel like you have okay so whatever the spiritual lesson is Okay, you've accepted it. Okay, uh, you're in a vibration of a reconciliation, but you're not going to put any effort into it. And that's what I'm seeing. So let me know if that resonated with you. Okay, so let me go ahead and see what is the guidance message that you need to know at this time. So spirit and holy angels, what is the guidance message for my lovely Gemini? What is your guidance message at this time? What is the guidance message for my Gemini? Huh. Is there any additional messages that want to come through for the sign of Gemini? Okay. Well, surrender to the wisdom of your body. Listen to your body's messages about a person or a situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. And I believe, I think Virgo had this uh, card also, if I'm not mistaken. So whoever this person is, John I, okay, when this person reaches out and contacts you, how does your body feel? Do you feel like you're on guard? Do you feel uncomfortable? If you are, you know, just be cautious. You know, you don't have to open up. But if you're happy, move forward, okay? You have to pay attention to the wisdom of your body. If you're not ready for this person to come back, then you're just not ready, okay? And vice versa. Cross-watcher, if you're the one watching this, you know, apply, apply the same, okay, towards your situation dealing with your Gemini, okay? So that's what I have, okay? So let's go ahead and see... What did the charms reveal for my lovely Gemini's for this session? So let's see. Wow. So on the outside, I see here a U. Okay. And check again with your heart is what I'm seeing and there is a key okay to your throat and the third eye it's in between the two so I feel that um, there is some information that needs to be spoken okay that you see okay uh, the key is really connecting to these two chakra points and um, right now I feel that you're not living your best life you're not laughing you're not loving I feel like you're to yourself and um, I definitely see that um, you want to be creative and that's good and you know you're not choosing to be strong be strong I saw a bunch of creative energy beneath the surface go ahead and open up that that uh, solar plexus chakra that's going to help open up for you to live laugh and love okay and the key is communication this could be through vocal com communication because I feel that you're not opening up to communicate you're not putting any effort into it because that aspect is actually in reverse okay I I did see that you're not putting any effort into the situation and I see that man maybe some of you guys are older I see here a dinosaur okay now for some you could see an actual baronosaurus on Saturday and Sunday maybe this is on National Geographic or whatnot uh, maybe some of you guys are into dinosaurs but I feel like some this is an older person okay so uh, something is moving slowly and I feel like it's working on you okay check again with your heart maybe uh, your heart isn't feeling good you know uh, physically not on a, a emotional but it could mean emotional okay so that's what I see and also there's another key here it landed on T and U okay so if you know um, anyone with those letters T and U and I see here you again guys so someone here there's a letter U that's very significant whatever the that you you word is okay it, it doesn't even have to be a name of a person but um 
Maybe this is a letter that you've seen. Maybe it means up or upon or it's a letter U. U turn. Okay. Take it as it resonates, but I'm definitely seeing it U in here two times. Okay. Maybe U U. <laughs> is that your double personality, Gemini? <laughs> anyway. So I really hope that this reading was helpful. Let me know your thoughts and thank you all for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can reach me on my website, www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a lovely day and I'll see you next time.